So I was thinking, our current factory doesn't really have enough throughput to actually uh, supply us with all the materials we need. So I decided to uh, do a little bit of redesigning and to make it a little bit more streamlined, a little bit more efficient. So what I did is I went back through most of the machines in our factory and I changed them completely. As you can see, the mega building is gone. I'm sorry, the mega building is here no more. I decided to, instead of dedicating a each floor of the building to like a separate item, I'm going to have uh, every building have its own item. Let's actually go, where is the tower? I built a tower over here, let's actually see what's happened. I did a lot of things, I played for around like 5 hours, tried to make a lot of cool changes. There we go! <laughs> oh lord, I'm gonna go through this in a second. So that's the thing we did last time with the uh, smelters. Then those things go over here with two belts. We have one section for iron plates. This is all iron plates. We have uh, nine constructors. I'm gonna go look at them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think they're called. Uh, I'm not sure if they're assemblers or constructors. They're the thing that makes things, you know? We have nine of those for plates, nine of those for rods. I know we don't need the exact same ratio, but I like keeping rods and plates uh, basically mostly symmetrical. And actually, this thing is almost completely symmetrical belt, uh, belt angles and all. There's like one thing, like that belt over there. Is not symmetrical with the rest, but we have like nice little loops over here. You can see the loops over there, over there. I'll go take a look at them uh, from up close, but this is mostly symmetrical. I'm super happy with it. And we can all, the best thing about this building is we could just expand as needed. So we basically reach the end over here on that side because that's poison. I don't know if I can remove that, but we could just like build up floors, like build up extra, extra floors as time goes on. And we could just copy this design exactly. It's gonna be gloriously good. Over there. We have the screws over there. We have I added three more factories because I need more power. We have the screws. We have the um, we have we have everything we had before. Oh god, I, I still don't know how to climb the ladders without actually dying horribly. Oh lord, I I, I don't know. It do, it does not work. I am unable to do the thing. I am unable. So we have a little um. I hesitate to call it a bus because I don't think a bus is a good idea. If you don't know what a bus is, it's basically having all our resources on the same conveyor belt. But I have a little thing over here, we'll look at it. It's, it's, I'm using this, like, style to um, transfer our things around here. I, have, I think, like, having three layers is a good number uh, for, for that. So we have, like, this one is not symmetrical. I'm gonna fix it one day. I just, like, um, belt can be a bit finicky over here since they I want to attach to everything. We have this belt over here as well. And these are all actually fast belts. Yeah, I think I did upgrade them to the fast belts, Mark IIs, which is uh, great. I can also downgrade them, I don't want to downgrade them. But yeah, most of these belts are Mark II. Some of them are not, like this one is not needed, because this one just doesn't craft at, uh, at a rate that would require a Mark V. But we have like these three constructors merging together. We can actually climb the ladder and look what's happening. We have these three building things putting in, in the storage. I think this is actually mostly full. Yeah, because I, again, I, there's a lot of things here, because I spent about five hours on just um, rebuilding everything. There's, I didn't add anything new, so it, this is all just the things we had before, but more efficient and nicer. Let's actually go all the way to the top over here. So we have, actually, let's just stay over here in the wall so we can see things more clearly. So we have these two lines, each one of these, these feeds a separate line. They go over here in the fast belts. They go inside, they have, like, are together over there, and then they split over here into two windows. Later on, we can uh, add this, make this into a three window, and add more things to that. I think that's gonna work out quite well for us. I didn't want to do that. Oh, no. Oh, no. I made a huge mistake. Oh, uh, okay, there we go. We can make it back. No problemo. I'm, I'm getting kind of stuck. But uh, I, I did my best. Also, symmetry. No, that, that's not symmetrical up front of me, but this thing... Look at this beautiful Let's turn off the lights. Look at actually, actually not have the lights on all the time. That seems a bit silly. Look at the symmetry. It's wonderful. It have it has the exact same things on both sides. Now you're not crafting things right now. Why not? Because you are. I'm guessing you're full, right? Yeah. Okay, these are completely full. That's fine. Again, I have so many plates. Uh, we are very close to unlocking upgraded storage containers. So that's what I'm gonna be using in the future, very very soon. I'm gonna just upgrade these. Uh, I could have. I thought about like placing two of them, but we are so close to an upgraded container, and it's probably more than only more than just two levels, is my guess. So we are close to that. They don't want to change that. So these all merge together onto this line over here. Let's you see how it works. They're all the same thing. So we have it goes over here. It splits into three separate lanes over here, and then each lane follows to another splitter, which again again splits in three. And this is not mathematically efficient. Just want to point it out. This area is not. I didn't do the maths. I mean, I did do the maths, but I decided, you know what? I wanna, wanna do it like this. It's gonna look a lot nicer. 
I think. I, I, I'm a person that usually prefers uh, the look and aesthetic or design of a, of a factory rather than looking at the efficiency. I do keep efficiency in mind, but I think this is a lot more... This this is more, more important to me, is what I'm trying to say. We have these three together, they go merge into that one, go into that container. The same exact thing is happening with the rods. I'm gonna spend too much time on that, but I'm gonna just go over here and look! We have the exact same loop! Oh, this loop is... I love this loop, man. It's so nice. Like this, looks so cool, and you can actually just fit the, the lightning poles in the middle. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, these are also all full. Uh, fully full. We have a lot of things. And then they go over here. Is this moving still? It is actually moving without the rods being moved. Interesting. Then they merge over here. So now we have two separate pillars. By the way, these are made really easily. You just put one over here and then you can just stack them. As many as you want. Okay, if, if I just click them. It's actually hard to do this while you're moving. And I want to stay still. You can just like stack these. As many of them as you want, it's beautiful. You do have to like stack them manually. As far as I know, you cannot make a- If you can make a blueprint of some things, which would make my life a lot better. Because I could just blueprint these into like uh, uh, Don't move the foundation, my man. I could just blueprint the entire factory, just copy it around everywhere. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. Again, I was gonna spend a little bit of time like just going over what I did, so you guys are up, up to speed with what I did. So these- we have this thing over here. This is kind of like the bus idea. Basically, we have like three rows of these. They go in here. They get split in three directions. One of them goes in, 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 in these factories for the screws. One of them goes for something else over there. And the rest go back. Not perfect because, of course, over if you just use the bottom line every time, over time the top two are going to have more resources than the bottom one, but that doesn't really matter that much. These are making screws. These are, I think, mathematically mostly accurate. We have 90 screws per minute. Times 3, which is 270 screws per minute. Each one of them has their own container getting kind of filled. Then over here we have a splitter that splits these three containers into two... Uh, ba basically what, what it does, like ignore the middle one for now. So we get, we get 90 per minute over here and 90 per minute over here. So it's total of 180 per minute over here. And we're also getting half of the rest just in case so this one is not fully filled up. We're getting a bit of it as well. Actually... Now that I think about it, I think this was mathematically correct at one point, but no longer is. I don't know. It's it's good though. It's very good. So these one, the bottom ones go over here into this machine. This machine is making us some rotors. We're making a lot of them. Have 50. This is one of the like most recent things I did. I think this was actually the last thing I built before leaving. I realized I didn't have any rotors going. These crews go over here. Again, there's our big old line there as well. It's a big area, man. I, I'm using up a lot more, lot more space now. So we're using 120 per minute, which means actually we are getting a decent amount of screws. We are never waiting on screws here, I think. Yeah. We always have enough screws before the item is finished, which is exactly what I wanted to achieve with this. Because again, one conveyor belt is not enough. You need to add a little bit of extra just to keep the supply going. We have the same exact thing over here with the rods. Rods go over there from the, um, from the tower. They go in here and the rest go... A news, raw, a news plates go back in, onto the conveyors. They all split over here quite, quite nicely. You're making things non-stop. Makes me happy. And over here, of course, we have the advanced iron plates. Reinforced iron plates. Of course, we have a decent amount of them. And then they leave out of here. Yep, it's not done yet. I also made these things happen. The um, modular frames. I think I, this is the last thing I did. How many do we have? We have like probably like 10. Because uh, I did this and then I just left. Oh, we have actually a lot. Yeah, maybe that wasn't the last thing I did. I don't actually remember. But we have uh, we have all the things automated that we had automated before with the addition of this thing, which is not that special. This is gonna be a lot better. It's gonna be a lot easier to expand, which I'm quite quite happy about. We have again three more uh, coal smithies, coal uh, coal factories over there. Not factories, you know what I mean? Coal power plants. And we have a lot of power, and I can easily I, I left enough room to like, add three more in the back, so I can easily add more power plants if needed. Also, we can just add even more of them close. We can add like three over there that to the south, and then nine more over adjacent when we are done. I don't know if we have enough coal for that. Right now we have... Let me go check. I think we have more than enough coal. I think the coal is... Uh, I think coal is always waiting on the belts. I don't think it ever goes inside. Because again, we have like way too much. Like each one of these is basically at half capacity right now. So it's like having three and a half, really. Doesn't make that much of a difference. Ah, you are actually going non-stop in here, huh? Yeah, maybe not really. Is this full? It should be full. Yeah, this is fully full. Yeah, so they're backlogged. Also have like another conveyor belt. Another container over there. 
They're fully backlogged, that's fine. Inventory is over here. I don't think I did any... I didn't do any research on purpose. Because I want to do that on video. Now, this is all brilliant, I think. The only problem is we don't have these items delivered to our base. That's okay. I don't think that is a problem at all. We'll do that later on. Let's just grab these right now so we can carry them. We can carry them with us. I think there's some research we want to do with that. And over here, for this, I think they actually changed something in, in, in an update. Uh, because let's go over here. We have 50 of, of these things already in here. See? We have 50 uh, motors. I don't think I ever made any motors. I made rotors. I don't think I ever made 50 rotors. So my guess is they changed the requirement from uh, 100 to 150. And then they just added 50 more in there for free. I don't know, man. We'll go make these. We'll need 100 motors and 500 of these. We have modular frames automated. Uh, for motors, I think we need to get steel going. Which is probably what we're going to be doing today. Also, I kind of want to like demolish that thing. I don't know how to... like. Maybe I can just chop down these things with a chainsaw. Hopefully, I can get... Uh, Gas him into later on because it's actually really annoying to have this right in my way. Also, there's a there's a slug over there at top. I where am I using my power things? I have two of them over here. I think I'm using some of them in the miners. I don't actually recall. Also, this is getting kind of full, so I wouldn't actually mind making another storage box. Oh, well, let's go make another storage box just so we have two of them. Where do we actually make that? In here is my guess, and probably under organization. Yeah. Alright, it's actually super cheap. We can now put it in there. That's fine. Let's get a... What's the right way? How do you open? I want to know. How, okay. The the rod goes here. Yeah, okay, yeah, this line. You can line with yourself. I don't care. There we go. Okay, actually, don't open at all, which is, which is perfectly fine. So, I kind of want to, like, have maybe power things, like biofuel, coal, wood, and stuff like that over here, and everything else in the other one. So over here I have wood, fuel, stuff like that. Over here I have mats that I use frequently, and also these uh, weird things that have no use. It's not very, very, very well, it's not very well organized, what I'm trying to say, but it's gonna have to do for now. All right, let's take a look at the recipes we have. Jump pads, I wanna get those. Not urgent. I'm not gonna use them anytime soon. Color gun, cosmetic stuff. We'll get there soon-ish. Logistics mark three is the thing we're missing right now. So. Let's see. Yeah, it's gonna be our milestone. We wanna get that so we can get our better, better container. That's the only thing that actually is not... I mean, jump pads are, are fun, a fun item. Color gun is a fun item as well. I guess jump pads can be useful for movement, but they are not... Do we have anything to here? We do not. They're not useful for uh, automation. And I wanna get logistics. That's gonna mean... That's gonna, be, that's gonna be the last thing we research. So we wanna get one of these. Can I... Let's actually... How many do we need? We need, we need, we need 100 more. So let's actually... Can we increase the amount of things we want to make here. Let's see. How do I actually make rotors? L uh, not motors. Motors. We'll get this automated as well. So I want to get motors. Wire. Okay, we have wires, cables, and modular frames. We have those basically already done. Beautiful. That's finished. So we can actually just cancel this. Yeah, let's, let's go fill these up. We have two storage crates of all the things. And we'll then just go make 150 motors. Well, I think we have to automate still for that. So that's gonna probably be our next quest. I'm gonna probably do it between this area and the coal mining area. Maybe that's for the best. I don't really know. So we have everything in our milestone. Can we stop tracking it for a sec? I can still... I, I, I probably can. I honestly don't know how to stop tracking. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. So I wanna make 50 of those. Let's see. Where are the motors? We need stators. Okay, we need... We have enough rotors for them. Awesome. Stator. How do you, how the hell do you make that? Steel pipes. All right. So it's actually very simple. You make steel ingots, and you use them to make steel pipes. So I think what we should do is we need 150. That's gonna be 150 clicks for the pipes, and over here actually gonna be six. It's gonna be a lot of clicks actually. So I think we wanna actually automate stators themselves. The problem is the wires are so far away. We'll have to bring them over, and I do want. Okay, that's kind of annoying. So, I want to bring over the wires, but I also want to make steel. Steel is made with iron and coal. I think I kind of want to maybe do a scan, because I'm using all my iron right now. Do we have any iron in that direction? That would be wonderful. There's some over there that we're using right now. It's all in the opposite direction, huh? That's slightly annoying. Yeah, there's like no iron close by. Well... I guess we're gonna have to get more iron ore. So it's right over here, right? I think it's super close to our 
So maybe it's better to make it over here, actually. We just bring over the coal, right? Just pure... Oh, there's actually three of them over. That's actually a lot of iron ore. Damn. What we could do... And this might be a horrible idea. We could move this iron ore to the top. Because we do have... I kind of want to just like... Uh, I mean, we could use this iron ore to just like connect it to those smelters up there. It's not that far away. We could use that, the oh, existing iron mines go close to the coal area. But actually, do we have any coal that's closer? I just want to take a quick look. Just mine this, please. Look and look. Please. Okay, or there we go. What's the closest coal? There's no coal in that direction, right? Let's see. Oh, far away. That's the coal I'm using. I haven't, haven't been there. It is like a, it's a kilometer that direction. Um, is it better to like take the iron to the coal or to take the coal to the iron? If I take the iron ore to the coal, I also have to bring over the wires, which seems a bit uh, inefficient. I think this is a lovely little flat area over here. And this has a lot of potential for industrialization, if you will. I think I'm gonna just reuse this area, like this flat plane over here. I'm gonna use this, I think, to make um, to make steel. So we're gonna bring over the coal. It might take a little bit of work. I could use trucks for that. That's that's a that, like that's a that's a real possibility. We could just use the trucks. But I think I'm gonna just bring it over with belts. I like conveyor belts, man. I, I think like trucks are uh, maybe a little bit inefficient. Later on, we can get better transportation means, so I think we're gonna stick with, uh, with belts for now. So I think I'm gonna split it over here. Not over here, where it leaves, because I actually wanna, wanna make sure, like, the most important thing over here is power. If we don't have power, we don't have anything. I don't want to accidentally use up all our coal for steel, and then run out of power, which means everything stops, which means we're in trouble. I want to make sure we get the coal supply to the power plants first, and then we're gonna do the other thing. Later on, what we can do is I can actually connect over there, we can just pass. We later on we can get another line of coal right across the ridge. Oh, there's also a snail boy over there. We can go get him. We'll, we'll definitely go do that as time goes on. I want to like get one of these over here. I think let's get the splitter on the thing. I don't want to do this. Is the question that I have it doesn't really matter. Anyway, that should work quite fine. We're gonna split it over here to the side, and this one is gonna stay as this. The one's gonna go over there. We can build more power plants later if needed. But for now, we're gonna just uh, move this as a um, as a transporter. So I'm gonna stick with using normal conveyor belts. I can easily uh, they're very easily upgradable, so I don't want to worry about that too much. Let's see, so I actually want to stick stick over here for the time being. Stick at the bottom level. I actually want to get uh, some foundations if we can. I kind of wish we could just like hotkey foundations. If there's a way, please let me know. I don't think there is a way, so. That kind of makes me a little bit sad. How many of these do we need, actually, if we want to like, make sure it goes smoothly? See, it's one, two, three, four, five, five or six. All right, let's go. Let's go with, like, two foundation boys over here. Just as a designation, if you will. We'll go over here as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to actually just make these go up here. Get these slow belts over here. And go a bit more around the place. Around the world, boys. Just like that. And I'm gonna go through here again. I'm gonna use this for power plants uh, later. For now. And just get the belts going. So once we get here, like we're going over there, right? Hold on. I should have actually marked it with a uh, with a beacon. It's it's one of those here. Actually, we can just can for let's just can for the iron and we'll see where the iron is, because I, I can like orient myself by just looking at the iron. Coal should be very close. Over there, iron should be... There? Where's the other iron? There's more iron over there as well. So, maybe it doesn't detect iron that's far away. It should be that that way, right? Please give me the iron, I wanna know where it is. Okay, it's over there. That's what I'm using. There's more iron over there as well. Just give me the iron I need, man. I wanna know where it is, so I can uh, head my way. Okay, it's over there. Okay, good. So, we want to go to that ridge over there. That's where we're going right now. That ridge to the north. There we go. I brought the coal all the way from our factory area. All the way here. Right under me. And if you look over here, the iron is over there. So, actually, like, these towers are so helpful. 
And we can see our entire factory from here. Also, like, this thing is so massive. Like, look at that. Look at how tiny everything is, except this thing, which is just towering. I mean, it is literally a space level that goes to, to space, so I guess it's supposed to be big. Makes a lot of sense. Also, want to go to that waterfall. That seems like a nice place to hang out and chill. So, the idea is we're going to get that iron over there. We're going to transport it all, probably on one, like, triple belt. All the ore is going to go on probably on one triple belt. All the way up here, and I'm gonna like probably merge these over here in that in this area. I'm probably gonna make the uh, steel over there, and we can also bring back the coils from there. It's gonna be okay. I do want to make that place bigger as well. I think we have enough room to do that as time goes on. We can also like place it on that plate over there. I kind of like the fact that we can't just like we have to work with the environment. You know, I actually really enjoy that. Because uh, if you, if you could like just like terraform, what I do, I would just make everything completely flat. Because that, that would be the right thing to do, you know? Make everything really flat so you can uh, get do things more easily. How do I go down here? Nope, not like that. Okay, oh god. All right, taking damage. It's fine. I don't care. I have infinite life anyways. Let's, uh, let's go do some mining, shall we? Oh, I just realized to build a foundry, we gotta have steel already. So that's gonna be a bit of an issue, huh? Well, we can make one. Okay, let's, let's go make a... Let's go make... I don't wanna make... Wanna make... Let's start with three. Gonna be a bit of a pain. We're gonna make... We, gotta, we have the concrete, that's no problem. We gotta get some steel pipes and some industrial beams. We need coal and iron ore. I have iron ore in my inventory. We also have coal in some of these bad boys. Where did I put the coal again? Over here, I think? Yeah, there's coal here for sure. We can use those two things. How Can we make everything we want right here? But I wanna just make these, like, uh, manually. Also, I wanna make Mark II miners, because the... Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna start with the Mark Ones, honestly. Because Mark 2s, they require even more resources. We're gonna just make Mark 1s for the time being. We'll, we'll change them later when we have steel automated. Oh, you know what? This iron ore is not impure like the one up top, which means we get two per batch here, right? Yeah, okay, so that's actually a lot better. That means everything we place over here is gonna be twice as fast. So I'm kind of thinking maybe what we should. So these are basically like six of those up there. So we have six veins over here and three over there. Interesting. What we could do here is we could just like basically transform one of these into our iron ingot production. Just like merge them with the rest. That actually might not be a bad idea. Let's get going. We're also going to need to get some power over here as well. I have it in mind. No worry. We don't you worry. It'll be fine. Let's go start with the Mark 1s. So I'm going to just face them. That could be a problem over there. I don't want to do it like this because then we don't have that much room. I'm gonna face them like this at an angle ish. Like that. And let's go like this over here. I kind of want to, for now, I want to have all of these on the same big old lane. Of course, I do like having me some uh, storage. I kind of like think that's a good idea because, again, you don't, you don't need, like, unlike Factorio, you don't need to have, like, inserters putting stuff out. The storage container is basically just an extended belt. You know, it's the exact same thing. As having a belt, except it can store a lot more items than a single belt. So, because there's like no slowdown when things go in and out of the storage container. I, I think actually having storage containers might be better than having uh, faster rails. Just do a storage container, fastest rail, storage container, and that way you have super fast rails. Very, uh, very annoying to make, probably. But I think it would be kind of... Not impossible. Alright, we have these bad boys over here. Good enough, you know, I don't care about having this be perfect. Just connect this over here. And there we have it. It's not finished yet, it's not perfect. But uh, that's gonna be our conveyor belt. I'm, I ran out of, um, what shall I call it? I ran out of plates for now. I'll go have to pick some up back at the base. But we have this taken care of. So they're gonna, like, dig out and gonna merge into one big belt. That's a layered, and that belt's gonna go over here. Later on, if needed, we can switch one of those belts to a different area. No problem, it's a top belt, so it's easily removed without causing problems. And now I want to have a foundry, right? Yeah, let's get a foundry going. So I actually kind of like this spot over here. Do we have enough? I don't have concrete. Oh my lord, I, I'm woefully am unprepared. It's okay, it's fine. Let's uh, destroy this beautiful nature over here. Nature destruction! That's what I live for, man. Alright, how big are the foundries is what I'm kind of wondering. I actually haven't placed one ever. Do they fit on two of these bad boys? Let's take a peek at that foundry. Oh, it's actually kind of small. All right. Missing concrete. I know, I know, I'm missing concrete. It's actually smaller than I expected. It, they do fit on two quite nicely. And uh, 
I think I'm gonna do it like that. Yeah, just like have a one over here. Hold on. Sure. Do we? Can we fit? Let's see. Can you please rotate the way I want you. Thank you. Like that. Uh, it does not fit on one perfectly, but I think four foundations should ha have no problem handling all those bad boys. There we go. Our foundries have been built up. They look magnificent. I love these bad boys. They look like badass smelters. You know, they look exactly like smelters. But bigger and better. I kind of do enjoy that quite a bit. Oh, we can only make steel in here right now. Okay. Interesting. I mean, I guess we haven't unlocked any other alloys other than steel. What's the ratio of these things? Okay, it's exactly the same. 45 per minute. Our miners are mining out. At the base is, I think, 60. No, our base is 30, so we're mining out 60. And our, uh, we won't have enough coal for this. So we're going to have to up our coal production. For Actually, I think our coal is uh, pure, which is 3 per... 3... So, I see. I think we're going to be losing, like, a lot of coal here. So, we're probably going to only hook up one of them for the time being. I think that's probably, uh, as they say it, for the best. All right, now let's just hook up one of these bad boys. I'll get more coal later on as time goes on. Don't you worry. Get actually another clear of coal over here. Yeah, we definitely got to eat more coal. This is going to have to do for now. And I'm, I'm happy with this thing. But we need more coal boys that is for sure so we have the foundry going beautiful it's gonna start we also have to actually hook everything out to power but we're gonna have some actual steel happening now which is gonna be very exciting i cannot wait i should actually i don't know how much coal i'm getting here it's like 30 per minute how much is how fast is this 60 per minute but we're not mining at a decent enough rate 60 okay it's 60 per minute so i think it's 120 so i think actually we do have enough coal coming in so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna quickly just uh politerize this there we go it's a bit spaghetti-ish but actually it's not at all so we have nice little layering going over here with everything coming inside we are just yeah this is actually more than enough i think for the time being we do we do need a faster um faster belt we'll get a faster belt i'm gonna just quickly go upgrade all of these whenever i get the chance but we have everything we need right now, I think. You know, I think we're good. We just need to get power all these bad boys up. We're going to have steel up in no time. But it's already been an hour since I started recording. So I'm going to just call it here. We did a lot of good things today. I'm going to hook these up to power. And we're going to just launch our steel. And probably launch the uh, next level of that thing. Next video. It's going to be exciting times. But yeah, I'm going to actually just end this one here. Thank you all so much for watching. My name has been Twisted from Honey Games. Now we'll see you next time.